Hey guys, um, this is a uh, particularly interesting unboxing today. This is probably going to be the last one for a while. You guys have already seen the unboxing Windows 3.1, unboxing Windows 95. This is a little bit different. We've got something a little bit more rare, a little bit harder to find. It's Microsoft Word for Windows version 1.0. As you can see, it's a uh, pretty big box. Weighs a few pounds. Let's go and have a closer look at the box. So as you can see right here, Word for Windows 1. We've got the, we got the back here, some information about it. It includes a lot of stuff, annotations, autosave, fonts, print preview, all of that. Microsoft making it all make sense. It's got some pretty good system requirements. You need an IBM PC with a 286 processor, 64K memory, EGA or higher resolution, Windows 2.11 or higher, hard disk and a double-sided disk drive, and one or two megs of EMS memory recommended. And it doesn't require a mouse, it's optional, Microsoft mouse, and networks. So this is the back of the box. This is the side. As you can see, it's a little bit damaged, but not a, not a whole lot. Not a whole lot of damage, just right here. If we look at the other side, it's pretty much the same. And on the front, one thing to show is that right here, if you guys can read that, it says Windows Series, and it includes both five and a quarter inch and three and a half inch discs. So whatever kind of drive you had at the time, you could install it. 100% money back guarantee. It's new word processing. And uh, something to take note of, this is from 1989. And at this time, WordPerfect was kicking ass with Lotus 1.2.3 as the competition. And Microsoft got in on it with Word and the Office Suite, and they've been rolling ever since. So let's go ahead and open it up. For distribution in the USA only. So we open up the box, and here's another cardboard box. And just to let you know, I wouldn't be unboxing this unless if it was previously opened. So. Just an FYI. Go ahead, put this right here. All right, so here is the cardboard box. Open it up. We've got the disks, and these are factory sealed. They are not going to be opened at all. I can, however, confirm that there are two disks in here. There's a five and a quarter and a three and a half. So that's nice. And yes, I will be taking pictures of these. They will be up at the site at malwareup.org. So we've got three packs of discs. Put these right here. Then we've got this thing. To get, many, to get more out of Microsoft Word for Windows, open me first. Let's go ahead and open it up. Close this and move it to the side for now. And open me first. We've got a lot of cool stuff in here. We've got a little uh, pamphlet ad for the Microsoft Mouse. Add a Microsoft Mouse. That's pretty neat. Might frame this. It actually looks pretty good. It's in really good condition, actually. So I'm going to frame that. We've got a some of the card here. Win work for Windows Roadmap. Basically, uh, telling you how to install, I guess. Anatomy of the documentation. And documentation is really good in uh, Word for Windows 1.0. So we've got some kind of registration for uh, inside Word for Windows. This is not a Microsoft company doing that. Got something else here from Hewlett Packard uh, registration. We've got a little pamphlet here. Microsoft Excel for Windows. Spreadsheet program, obviously. God, I hate it. We've also got... This is the technical reference guide for uh, Word for Windows. You can register it if you want. 
I've also got, um, if you want to get a low density, five and a quarter inch disc. And the discs that are included are a, is a high density three and a half and a high density five and a quarter. If you've got an old school one that takes low density, you can order these for free. I want to know if you can still send this in. Because they still can send you the, uh, the thing, oh, no, 30 days, it's been a little bit more than 30 days, so forget about that. Also got a guarantee, money back guarantee paper thing. More registration from Laser Master. I'm going to go ahead and cover up the original name on here. You hold the power of fast Windows printing. Yes, you do. And here it is. You got your 386, your 486, and your 586 processor. That's pretty cool. Got some printers down here, some laser printers. They're all Windows compatible. And that's kind of neat. Okay. Let's have a look at something else. We've got keyboard decals. These are really, really cool. Basically, I guess you uh, stick these to your IBM keyboard, Model M keyboard, clickety, and uh, you can know what keys to press. And that's pretty much what's in this box. You've got more keyboard uh, decals. There's also one for your uh, number pad right there. You've got this, rough, this uh, orange one. For, for uh, fonts, typefaces, and it's pretty massive once you unfold it. Oh yeah, there it is. And this this video truly goes out to anybody who is in school and has to take classes about Microsoft Office. This is the roots right here. Open me first. Fold these back up. Put them over here, and let's get back to the box, whatever side we're on. There we go. And I found this in here. It's a loose page. I don't know where it's from, to be honest. So we're just going to leave it right there. We've got a Word for Windows pocket guide. It's still sealed, which is pretty cool. Carry it around, know how to use Word wherever you go. We've also got Microsoft Windows basic skills for Windows applications. So I can tell you how to use help and all that good stuff. Control panel. Back for Windows uh, 2.11, of course. Microsoft Word for Windows printer guide with printer drivers right here. Also got a sealed thing right here. Microsoft Word for Windows sampler, which includes documents and templates. And that is not going to be opened. Also got a Microsoft Word for Windows getting the right getting right to Word. Uh, it's kind of hard to say. A guide for users of Microsoft Word, Display Right, Multimate, Wang, Word Processor, and Word Star. I know some of those. I didn't know that Wang was a Word Processor. Then we got the mother of all user guides. That is the Word for Windows user reference. Now, most uh, user guides were like this, paper. This shit is hardback. This thing will last a long, long time. And it's from 1989, it's been opened before, and the pages are really, really nice. Uh, they're very white, uh, no yellowing at all. Very happy that this uh, seller sold this for such a low price. This is really nice. So yeah, that is the user reference guide. And I'll say it for one more time, there will be high quality pictures up at malwareup.org and we will see you next time.